morning, everyone. My name is Hermann Hünz. I am the coordinator of the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung, a German private uh, foundation active in the Baltic States. Uh, I'm responsible for the three Baltic States, for the city of Riga. I would like to welcome you on behalf of the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung, on behalf also of the, the um, Social Democratic Group in the European Parliament. And we have a special guest of honor today, uh, a unique chance to speak to the to Martin Schulz, to my right. Martin Schulz is the chairman of the second largest group in the European Parliament, um, the Social Democratic Group, and he is here in Riga and in L Latvia to, to find out about your situation because we know that the European, some of the European states are in economic and social trouble. And as a real social democratic uh, politician, he cares for this trouble and he uh, declared himself ready and willing to talk to young students, to politicians in Riga about the challenges that the present situation, economic and political situation is creating uh, to politicians. He, is, he came with a small delegation of uh, an Austrian member of parliament, a Dutch expert, and uh, he will be here for a day to talk to political um, representatives of the city of Riga and of the country. But the mo ma mo ma uh, most important purpose for this morning is, of course, to talk to you. To you, the future of the country, the future responsible, that are studying, the future that have to deal with the problems we, the older generation, are creating to you, but uh, about also, he wants to also talk about answers that are available. There is no hopeless situation at all. Before I take over to talk about Martin Schulz's thesis, I would like to tell you that Martin Schulz has been in the European Parliament for a very long time, since uh, the 90s and last century already. He's a very experienced parliamentarian. He's not only parliamentarian, he was also a mayor of a city in Germany for more than 10 years, I think 12 years. Uh, a city close to Aachen. The city Aachen you know, perhaps, but it, Martin Schulz was the mayor of a smaller city, Jerusalem, close to Aachen. He is an um, uh, intellectual. He grew up in an intellectual sphere, in the, in the, uh, in the sphere of the book, Sellers sphere, very important in Germany, a place where intellectuals meet. So you can expect from him a vivid presentation on social democratic answers of, on the global crisis, new chances for Europe. The European Union is the focus of his policy and of his political life. Martin, please, you have the floor. And we would like to listen to you carefully. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much, Alan. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you very much for the nice words, Herman. I grew up in the world of booksellers, that's true. I was 14 year old as so an uh, owner of a uh, library, and I can tell you it is in reality the world of intellectual and poor people because with, uh, uh, book, with, with bookshops you cannot become a rich man. So. Uh, but that was not the reason because I uh, became a member of the European Parliament, which is, by the way, better paid than uh, a job in a bookstore. I'm for my first time in uh, Latvia. It's my first visit to Riga. And uh, after 24 hours, or not, not yet 24 hours, in the country, I admit, uh, I regret it that I came so late. It's a wonderful city, and the first impression I had here in Riga, I really am deeply impressed about the meetings, about the exchanges of views, the talks I had uh, since yesterday, and I'm impressed by the city. It's a wonderful city. I'm also uh, satisfied because uh, we are now in Western Europe for the first time since 
I can remember it. Perhaps 40 years, we have a winter with uh, three months uh, continuously snow, which disappeared uh, during the last week. And now uh, I came to Riga and uh, I'm happy. I must not change my, uh, my view on the city, everything full of snow. But today it seems to me it's warmer than yesterday. So the winter will be finished, I hope, in some days. And not only in the atmosphere, we have winter in the economic life, in Europe and worldwide. We are living in a frozen situation. And for a lot of people, the prices are very high. After a decade of economic growth, and by the way, in Europe, a kind of artificial economic growth, we are now facing an enormous challenge. Some areas of this artificial economy, based on a lot of uh, unjustified and in my eyes irresponsible speculations on the international markets, led in Europe and worldwide, not only in Europe, worldwide, to an economic, unprecedented economic crisis, for which ordinary people all over in Europe must pay a very high price. And therefore the question we have to give an answer as social democrats in Europe is how to avoid that such a wrong development of economic, the economic life, how to avoid that it is uh, repeated in the next coming years, how to avoid that people can speculate with everything wherever in the world without rules. I think the first answer, and that's the title of uh, our discussion today, answers from social democrats to the economic crisis. The first answer social democrats must give in Europe is we don't want to intervene in the economic life as it happened in the socialist states, the former Soviet Union. State economy is not leading to more welfare. <coughs> We need a free development in the economy, but we need a responsible economy. We need ethics in the economic life, and we need rules. An unregulated market is perhaps a certain time the possibility to get an enormous richdom for a small number of people as we see today, with a high risk for a high number of people. No, we don't want to over-regulate markets, but we want to introduce just and fair rules to the international, especially the financial markets.